I'm George, and we'll be doing this high color portrait inside of Photoshop Elements. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share and subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and check out the description below for my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. Okay, we'll begin this project with a brand new file. Let me just get this out of the way. Now here we go, here's the basic image. You can download this image from my website. There's a link for that in the description. As you can see, it's a nice picture, but it's a bit on the dull side. I could just brighten it up, add some contrast and a few things like that, but I think instead we'll take this into a more colorful direction by doing some gradient maps. We'll start off by separating out the foreground subject from the background. And to do that, we'll go up here to the lasso tool. I have my feathering here set at one pixel. And then I'll just come in and draw just outside of the hair like that. Just a nice quick selection. And then around the outside of the picture for the bottom part. And finish up here on the other side. And again, cross the top and go back to the beginning. There we are. Let's now go to refine edge. In here, the brush size is 35 and that's fine. That's right there. I always set mine with smart radius over here. I'll leave everything else alone. The red color is from the view mode right here. I have mine set at overlay, which gives you that red kind of a mask mode and it's easy to see. Now on this, I'll start off with the brush right on top of that line where the mask goes into the picture. And then I'll work my way in to the hair. Two or three passes is normally all it takes. Just like that animal finish the top up here and then I'll come down and do the bottom part. I'll usually do this in just a few passes over each section. I won't try to do the whole thing at one time. I'll do a few passes. Now where you have spots like this, the background is showing through the hair. Once you've done the outside, then come down here and kind of push the background in. It'll go in. It may take a few passes to do this, but it will go in. There we go. And let's get that nicely done in there. Maybe a little bit right down here. Doesn't need much down there. Okay, same thing on the right hand side. And again, just a few short strokes. There we go. And we'll come down this side and right up against the hair. There we are. And continue on down. And then we'll go back and we'll fill in those, those gaps in the hair as soon as I have the first pass taken care of here. There we go. Let's now come down and pull that background in like that. Do the same thing in here and this will then finish off our basic mask or layer mask. Now for this we want to take this to a new layer. So go over here where it says output to in the output section, selection, new layer with layer mask, choose OK. And there we go, here's our new layer with the background removed. Now what that does is it allows us to do one effect on the foreground subject and a different effect on the background. We'll use the same background image to apply a different effect onto. So come down to that layer, and then we'll apply an adjustment layer onto this. Let's go up here to Layer right there. Come down to New Adjustment Layer and Gradient Map. Now, it doesn't really matter on this layer, but I usually will have these things set to Use Previous Layer. Just check that checkbox. Now, click on the actual gradient itself. And in here, change the preset down to Pastels. And the one you want is right there. It's a green, yellow, orange pastel. Click on that, and there we go. There is that background gradient. It just puts in some color based upon the values of the background. So here it is without, and here it is with. Okay, that takes care of the background. Let's now move up to our subject layer. Same basic concept. We're going to come in and apply a gradient map to our foreground. So let's go up here to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and gradient map again. Same thing, check that checkbox, choose OK. This time let's go back to the default. Here we are. And you want this one right there, it's the violet to orange. Okay, that puts in the basic gradients. Now we need to adjust things a little bit, to get things just where we want them. So on this one, bring the opacity down on this and kind of soften up that effect. And I have mine set at 67. I'll just type in the seven right there, so 67. That looks pretty good. Come back down to that layer here. I want to now adjust the values of the image to really help to punch this effect here. So you're on the subject layer again. Let's go back up here to layer, come down to adjustment layer. This time go to levels at your top option here. Again, keep that check mark checked, choose OK. Now on this, we want to darken the darks down. That's the left hand side here. Bring that down to about 20. 
you can just type it in if you want to to select and type there we go the middle setting you can move this to the left or to the right and that adds in more contrast as you can see here I'm going to type in 0.84 and I'll leave the 255 on the right hand side now we need to get our bright colors in here and for that let's go back up here to the gradient map and on the gradient map itself click on the left hand side see that down here that's fine go up here to the blend modes and if I click on dissolve you see how this changes the effect I'm just going to use my mouse to roll down through these and notice as I come down here we get different effects on this depending upon what the specific setting is so there's lots and lots of possibilities in here just by changing the blend mode blending that gradient map into the image now the one I want for this particular picture is the color dodge right there and that gives us those real bright effect colors in there okay that much is taken care of now there's a little bit along the edge in here where the hair looks just a little bit weird we're going to touch up that hair now that is over here on the layer mask side of that layer look for your light blue outline now white shows black hides so let's come in here grab a paintbrush and I'll bring the brush size up let's go up to about a hundred soft brush which is right there there it is now if I come in here with that notice how we just kind of paint right along that edge and I can help to blend in that now come in just a little bit and you'll bring in some of that color from that background layer there we are and that just helps to blend those two layers together so just a little bit I want to come in far enough that I begin to pick up a little bit of that background color into those hairs just right now you can have a bit more in some spots a bit less in other spots just pulling in a little bit of that color from the other layer in there okay that looks good last thing now is those eyes I want to add additional color into the eyes now to do that I first need to block those eyes out from these adjustment layers I don't want those affecting what we're going to be doing so let's zoom in and we'll zoom right in on the eyes right there there we go now let's go ahead and we're going to grab a paintbrush and then set this at a hard edge so there's your soft edges and there's your hard edge brush and we'll find a brush that's just big enough to cover that iris let's just bring our size up a little bit here a little larger than that okay 71 is too big let's try 65 and that's just a touch too big let's try 60 and that's good so we'll go with 60 right here and then we're on the layer mask so we want to be painting with black I want to hide this part with black so I'll just center that right over the iris like that and then just tap it a couple of times do the same thing over on the other eye there we are now it's showing some of the top part up there I need to hide that top part so I'm going to bring the size now down to about 20 and let's reverse the colors so right along here just really carefully right along the top there just paint that back over to white again there we go and same thing on this side just paint right over the top there that's good then I want to hit this part the pupil dark so I come right onto the pupil right there and then just tap it a couple of times same thing on this side just centered right there and tap a couple of times and there we go and the last thing I want to do is just soften that edge up just a little bit so let's go up here to filter blur and Gaussian blur and all you need is about a one pixel blur on that edge it just kind of softens up that edge and then choose okay okay that layer mask is all set let's now copy this up to the next layer hold the alt key down and drag that straight up and choose yes these now have matching layer masks on them okay now I can do a new color above this one so I'll do a flare new fill layer solid color now don't check that checkbox just choose OK and down here at the hexadecimal number we're going to type in the number that I use is kind of a light blue and it's 00 E E F 7 there it is choose OK let's now take this layer mask with the alt key down drag it straight up that copies that but it's the wrong way around so click on this layer mask here and then go up to filter come down to adjustments and invert right there that just reverses that okay now it's really strange looking so we need to blend this into the eyes and we'll start that off with a blend mode go up here to normal come down to soft light that blends it in it's still too harsh so we're going to bring this down a little bit and I have mine set at 65 percent right there and it's still just a little bit too much so we're going to do one more adjustment and we'll come in with a new adjustment layer go up to layer come down to adjustment layer levels this time where it says use previous layer 
check that, choose OK, and then grab the left side control, this is our black control. If I move this way over towards the right, right in here, you see right there, it begins to blend in better. So I'm going to bring it fairly dark, right about like that. That's pretty good. You can go all the way here and you lose all the color. Just bring it in, so I have just a little bit of color showing right in there. I have mine at 226, so it's really close to the white. It just adds a whole bunch of color in there, right about like that. Looks pretty good. 223, I think that works out fine. I close that down. We can see the effect. I'm just going to show and hide that layer, and there it is. There is without, and there is with. We just added a lot of blue into those eyes. I'll just go ahead and go back out here to fit screen, and there we go. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share and subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, check out my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.